magic that I'm sweet to city. Hi there beautiful people, I'm super excited to be coming your way with yet another fantastic episode of A Moment with Madeline. But before I go ahead to introduce our guest for today, I would like to seize this platform to say a very big thank you to all of you, my viewers back home in Ghana and in Africa and in the diaspora. I really appreciate you tuning in to the show. My name is Madeline and this is A Moment with Madeline. I will be right back to introduce my guest for today. What up, my people? It's your boy Perry Zero. You know what time it is? Then they'll be up in this. There'll be a gang up in this. And yeah, this is the moments with Madeline. Stay tuned. Ch -ch -ch -ch. You welcome back from the break, and if you just tuned in, you are watching the Numero Uno Entertainment TV show, A Moment with Madeline. Now, this show promised to be bringing you varieties of guests from different areas, from the entertainment industry, sports, to mention but a few. Today's guest is not your regular entertainer. She is an intelligent, smart doctor, a YouTuber, and... Somehow a beautician. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Dr. Chizoba. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. How come you're wearing green with me, though? Did you copy me? Um, let's say we're in synchrony in spirit. We're synchronizing in the spirit. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Welcome. Good to have you Thank here. You. Now, a little bird whispered to me that you need to be out there. And that is why you are here on the show today. To show the world what you made of. So yeah, let's get to know you. I know you to be Dr. Chizoba, but for the sake of the viewers that are watching, mm -hmm. tell us something small about yourself. Oh my God, I feel like I've been put in a very tight, tight, tight corner, and <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know how to describe myself in one word. Okay. But I would say I'm Chizoba. Okay. A lot of people call me Chi and Zoba. You can just Call it anyhow you want. Okay. Um, yes, I'm a doctor. I earned, I earned the title. title. Oh, okay. So I, deserve, I deserve to be called a doctor. Yes, I'm a doctor. And, and you're from? Nigeria. Nigeria. Which state in Nigeria? From the eastern part of Nigeria. I'm oh. an evil girl. Yeah, oh, evil girl. The names give me away, so I cannot even hide it. Oh, okay. All it's, right. It's a typical evil name. Uh, yeah, Chizoba. Yeah. I think I know that. Yeah. All right, so tell us about growing up in Nigeria. I mean, what kind of home did you grow up in? Uh, beautiful one. Like, it's uh, special. Okay. <laughs> it's special in the sense that it's not the typical Nigerian home. Okay. Until I left Nigeria, I began to realize that um, my family is quite different. Okay. My parents are quite different. How different? We don't do the typical Nigerian family thing. Well, when I you say typical things, Nigerian thing, okay. like for example, mm -hmm. I do some things and people are like, "Are you serious?" Like it's mm -hmm. strange for them. Okay. But in my house, it's like it's normal. Me, yeah, okay. For people to act that way, relate it's... that way with their parents. Okay. I relate like very freely with my parents, and it's it's strange. beautiful <laughs> <laughs> for some people, not for me. It's okay. Strange for some people. All right. So it's actually beautiful growing up in Nigeria. Okay. So when did you come to Ukraine and when did you graduate? This is too private. Really? How? <laughs> I seriously feel like my whole life. <laughs> oh yeah, I I came to Ukraine in 2012. Yeah. Okay. Um Yes, I came to Ukraine in 2012. I graduated two years ago, okay. 2019. Yeah. Okay. Which school? A bit of here and there. I started with Sumi State University and mm -hmm. then I moved to Kiev State Medical University. That was where I graduated. But I did most part of my medical school in Sumi State Sumi University. State University. Yeah, just did like fifth year and sixth year in, in, in Kiev. Kiev. Okay. So. All right. So tell me, how was life in Ukraine when you came? I mean, your early days in Ukraine. It was beautiful, if I would say. Because um, mm. I didn't come all the way. I didn't come straight from Nigeria. 
Okay. I moved from uh, Belarus okay. to Ukraine. So I spent a little bit of time in Belarus before before coming to Were Ukraine. Were you schooling in Belarus yes, too? Yes. Um, not really school. It was like preschool. Okay. Like Partak, so we call it here in Ukraine. So okay. I did a little bit of that before finally moving to Ukraine. So I kind of already understood a little bit. Mm -hmm. But still, Ukraine is quite different. And it was just like really normal. Oh, okay, so you didn't have any of those funny experiences like most people say? Um, kind of racial? Yeah. Racism is there. I wouldn't say it's not there. Okay. Racism is there. Um, it's just the same thing. People are bred differently. Okay. You don't expect everyone to act the same. The or, same, yeah, because we yeah, are wired we need, differently. We the, mm -hmm. the, the, the good, the bad, and totally the ugly ones they are all in ukraine you can meet like the really really loving ones mm -hmm. and you're surprised is this a ukrainian because of the way the person is acting towards you and you can meet like the really really stupid ones and okay it's kind of crazy so i would say i understand i that. met the good ones the bad ones and also the ugly ones all right so i know you were then i mean you just said that you completed two years ago and i know you were yeah. a youtuber when did your entire journey start in youtubing uh, and is that why you are still in Ukraine? Um, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> you started answering no. from the latter part. So yeah. let's okay. let's go I'll, back to the YouTube. <laughs> okay. I started. I've always wanted to YouTube, and you know, I want to share my life, but I don't want to share my life. Not share my yeah, life. Yeah, because you just share, said yeah. I was asking very private questions, really? but you were a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. That's why I said it's kind of funny. I cannot give a straightforward answer to that question because it okay. feels like I want to share my life, but I don't want to. I want to share the knowledge I have without having to share my life. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of difficult okay. to do cause, this. Yes, because I feel like I'm a lot. I'm a lot of things. That's why I said initially I cannot describe myself in one word. I can't say I'm just a YouTuber. It's, it's kind of difficult. I'm a lot of to things. say that I do a lot of things. I'm full of ideas. Hyping myself right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me not hype myself. But I'm full of things. I'm full of ideas. I'm a very creative person. Okay. I I, I want to share the things that I can do. My knowledge. So that is what things. prompted you to start YouTubing. Yes. Is yes. there any particular incident that's made you to decide that okay, right, this is the time for me to start YouTubing? Nothing like that. I don't think Okay, so I mean, you have variety of content on your YouTube channel. Beautiful, yeah. how to style hair, how to do this, then the constant rant and <gasps> man, it's just it's just few videos of me rant. <laughs> <laughs> but there are good rants though. So I mean, what kind of content do you feel very comfortable putting hair. out there? Hair, yeah. anything oh. that has to do with to do with hair, creative things, hair. Mm -hmm. um, decorating things like just creative things that I don't have to talk because okay. I feel like I have a very unpopular opinion about things I hate to share my opinion outside but you know people really love the very unpopular opinions because everybody is used to the popular and they want to hear something else so why don't you you know <laughs> share more of your very unpopular <laughs> opinions it always brings fights and arguments and disagreements and quarrels and you know, I like to hear what people think about some certain things. Okay. And I'm, I'm not close. I'm not a close-minded person. Mm -hmm. I'm very open-minded. Open -minded. But at the same time, when people start spewing stupidity, I'd rather just like, mm -hmm. I want to keep quiet. Okay. I don't want to talk. So I, I, bought, I bottle up my opinions a lot. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I... Just let everything out. Yeah. I mean... When it's like too much and i feel like people are missing the point okay when people start missing the point a lot i like to just share and if i do i have regrets like why because regrets. negative comments come in nope. or what okay so the first negative comment i got on my youtube channel i was, mm -hmm. I, I was happy you know okay. you get a negative comment and you're like rejoicing i've made everyone come. <laughs> i'm sorry but like that was totally how it worked for me. I was quite excited to have a negative comment mm -hmm. because I believe in people being diversified in their 
thinking and their knowledge. Okay. So I'm not afraid of someone having a different opinion or saying something Think. bad okay. in what I've done. All I do is I take the sense and the nonsense and I I oh. leave you go with the rest. Okay. That's okay. I hope you're picking some lessons, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think you've been having a very beautiful journey. But the last time I checked, oh, you posted a video like a year ago. I mean, why why did you stop? Because oh. it's been so long since you dropped a video on YouTube. Hmm. What happened? Because you, you were constant with your content on YouTube and we love seeing them. So what happened? Okay, she was so over my leg. I yeah, was yeah. In the public. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to get out my leg right now, but again, it all boils down to the fact that I'm afraid of letting my private life out because it's <sighs> okay, okay, it's becoming it's getting to that level where I cannot share content without getting personal, yeah, getting personal, and I, I began to get a little bit of publicity. Mm -hmm. In quotes, people of God, in quotes. I you know people are messaging you, people that you don't even know. And um, I feel like I began to relate more and open up to a lot of things that I felt like, no, I don't want this. I just want to share this without having to share this. And it's like almost impossible. Because even if I'm putting a hair video where I haven't said anything, I have people literally, one time someone literally contacted my cousin because mm -hmm. uh, I buy a lot of hair from Nigeria and okay. she happens to be the one selling the hair to me and called her and claimed that I'm her very good friend we school together in Ukraine and it was all because of the knowledge of what I've put out on YouTube, on YouTube. and she's like yeah 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 please give me Chisova's number and my cousin gave her my number and she wrote me on WhatsApp like to me I admire that. To me, it was good. But if one person can go to that extent, extent. Just, just one example, not talk of people contacting you on Instagram, which I don't have a problem with this, but at the same time, I want to share knowledge without putting my leg. Because at the end of the day, so people are going to judge you based on what you've given out for them to consume. consume. Mm. I understand that. So, like, have you tried to get, like, um, some content that will not put you in that scenario where you have to get personal? Have you tried that? Exactly what I've said. I've tried to make a video of hair without having to... I just concentrated the video on the hair. Mm -hmm. And someone went all the way to contact family to get my phone number from the video from the hair. Okay. And you, are you passionate about YouTube? And let me ask you that because yes, you are pa <laughs> now you are not speaking like someone that is passionate because from this very example that you just made, I don't really see. I'm just sharing my own yeah. opinion. I don't really see the big deal in that. I mean, getting your contact through your YouTube to write you. It's no, a, a phone number, and it's, you're not contact. You're not giving me a phone call. You're writing me a message on WhatsApp, like. WhatsApp is like super personal. It's okay. family and friends. So what was the content? Was the content annoying? No, like she's trying to get to know me, get to know about this hair. Can I get, you know, just... If it was just about the hair, I, I don't think, sweetheart, it was a problem. But if she you wanted... See why I said we have... I have a very unpopular opinion. <laughs> and it's you know, she's patronizing your cousin. I agree. If <laughs> that was just it, then I don't think... Jesus, I'm sorry, guys. Like <laughs> it's okay. The most close-minded person when it comes. So you don't have to relating plans. with people. Okay. But right. when it comes to sharing ideas, mm -hmm. like, so like are I'm, you really I feel like done? I'm contradicting done. myself a lot. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, but it's okay. <laughs> so, are you really done done with YouTube or are you? No, I'm not. So when are you coming I'm back? Not. When are you coming back? I'm waiting to come back with the banga. Okay, because we missed the content. I was watching it's a video only... where you were showing us how to style um, braided wigs with scarf and all of that. Yes. I don't know anything about that, but your content gave me that knowledge. So we need you to come back. I'm working on that. 
Yeah, so please come back. All right, the conversation just got started. Stay tuned. We will be right back with the next part of the interview. What up, your favorite boy, VIK to the TOH. Keep watching the moment with Madeline. You're done, no? Stay tuned. We're done, no? What's the mood for? Yo, what up, my people? It's your boy, David Doyle. You guys are now watching a moment with Madeline. Make sure you don't touch that down. We'll be right back. God bless you. Obi, you. Bye, all right so you will come back from the break and still a moment with madeline with dr chizoba we've actually been having a very fluid conversation so dr chizoba you were in med school and you were still youtubing and the two are very very tasking how did you juggle between the two i think um it was I didn't see it as a stressful thing to do. Okay. It was actually, I was doing something I liked. Okay. If I'll put it that way. And med school was quite stressful. As we all know, mm -hmm. it is stressful. Very. Not quite. It is very stressful. And the weather in Ukraine does not make it easy for us. But it was quite easy. I feel like right now I'm lazy. Okay. <laughs> School is finished and more YouTube videos loading guys yeah okay. she is gonna start very soon okay. now you like her videos you mentioned it earlier on in the conversation anything creative uh, okay so let me give you a task right now <laughs> assuming um a young girl with a very okay. low cut mm -hmm. i want to grow and maintain a very beautiful natural hair take me through wow <laughs> i would say one thing there is a uh, there is no right or wrong way to do some certain things in life, especially to do anything that is in your body. But there are just some, you know, very few things that we put in place just to make our own journey easier. easy. So the, your hair is your hair. Okay. You know how your hair feels. Okay. I can tell you, wash your hair twice in a day, whatever. I can give you my own routine. Yeah, I want you to give us your routine. The point is that my routine might not work for you. Okay, but it might work for someone else. But so for the sake of that someone okay. else that it might work for, just take us through the routine. I would say just understand your hair. Wash your hair. How, your do, hair how do I understand my hair? But you, if you do some certain things, a routine is something that you've done several times and mm -hmm. you see that it works. It's okay. a habit that now becomes... A routine so if you create a habit no okay. matter what the habit is it will eventually become a, a routine okay. so wash your hair when you feel that your hair is dirty and you, it needs to be washed wash my hair with alcohol <laughs> <laughs> okay wash your hair with shampoo and uh -huh. condition your hair okay 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 i get i get your point. yeah it's uh it's a black girl mm -hmm. um with 4c for whatever type for hair we have the kinky hairstyle so the kinky hair type okay so it's better for you to wash your hair with shampoo sulfate free shampoo it's just because it's good surface free shampoo. sulfate free yeah oh okay shampoos because the the sulfate strip of the moisture from our hair okay and once your hair is dry it cuts the point is our hair is coily coily yeah they all entangle with themselves so we're trying everything that we can to keep it moist because mm -hmm. once it's dry and they are all you know entangled, entangled. with themselves mm -hmm. they start breaking up because it's dry it's easy for it to break but if your hair is moisturized okay. and no matter how much you tangle it it will just like extend and like an elastic it will just go and come back it's not gonna so how break. how how do so i keep my hair moisturized sulfate free shampoo okay uh, conditioner okay deep conditioning in your hair is important okay as a black girl okay. it's just the life that we've chosen mm -hmm. when I have. all right <laughs> i see you no black hair. <laughs> your hair, but it's okay just protect your hair mm -hmm. a lot of protective hairstyle in ukraine when the weather is cold okay don't leave your hair out it's can you mention some few names of those protective hairstyles wig okay a lot of wigs Okay. During the winter, you would not catch me with braids. You will hardly catch me with a braid. Because it breaks the hair. Yes, your okay. hair is exposed to the cold weather. Mm -hmm. The thing is that in Ukraine, the temperature is not humid at all. Mm -hmm. So the humidity is low. And if the humidity is low, that means there is less uh, moisture in the atmosphere. And 
naturally your hair is like drying up, dried up, dry and then it starts so breaking. Do things to put it, keep the moisture intact, which is deep conditioning your hair anytime you wash your face. Protect it. Man, I, I wish up. I wish I had short hair right now so that you just you know show me how to go about with the whole moisturizing thing, but it's okay. With water. Just water. You moisture is water. People okay. get it wrong. Ah, uh, okay. Moisture is water. It's just water. But okay. then you still in the moisture with oil or butter. Ah, uh, okay. So we moisturize our hair by literally spraying water. Water so and then add wash, oil. Yes. When you mm. wash the hair, don't dry like dry, dry, dry with towels or whatever. Just leave it a little bit damp. Then use your oil and your butter to seal in the moisture and then that's it. Mm. Try to do it often. I hope you are taking notes because... I am definitely taking notes and I see you, I saw a video of you on your YouTube channel. You seem to be very, 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 very sensitive when it comes to this genetic disorder, sickle cell anemia. And I mean, you said you created your YouTube channel so that you can pass on knowledge and you're a medical doctor. So in a layman's language, please don't be too medical. Take us through what sickle cell anemia is, how people can survive with sickle cell anemia and so on. Maybe if I have follow-up questions, I'll definitely ask you. So let's go. What is sickle cell anemia and how do we live with it? Okay. Sickle cell anemia is uh, a health, is a condition. Okay. Okay. And it's as a result of the disease itself, sickle cell disease. Okay. Anemia is like absence of uh, oxygen in the blood okay and uh, sickle cell is just like the sickling just the name sickling of the cell okay so if we're to put it all in context you're just saying that it's a condition where the red blood cells in the body am i being too medical no okay the red <sighs> i'm gonna try to explain it without sounding so that so, everyone would understand it. yeah we have blood that is red in color, yes? Mm -hmm. This blood contains some cells okay. that make it up. We have the red blood cells and the white blood cells. White blood cells. So the red blood cells is the one we're concentrating on right on, now. Right now, So yeah. this red blood cell, it's spherical in shape, kind of something. Oval. Spherical, yes, in shape. That's how it's supposed to be. But mm -hmm. then sickle cell condition makes it sickled okay. in shape. Like half of an oval half of the yellow moon. <laughs> I don't know why that's not okay. right but like just yeah, a moon like when that. it's not a full moon. Let's just, full moon is normal red blood cell. Then the half, half moon, moon that comes out is a sequel uh, cell. cell. Okay. So this red blood cell itself, the normal one has a function, a role that it plays in the body. Okay. Which is to take oxygen. It, uh, it's medical. This don't blood worry. cell, this, Blood cell itself has a function. The function is to take oxygen. Okay. It has a protein that is called hemoglobin. Okay. This hemoglobin takes um, oxygen from the lungs. Okay. When we're breathing, okay. we're taking in oxygen from our environment, environment. Yeah? Mm -hmm. into our lungs. Okay. Then we take the carbon dioxide out. So this oxygen that goes in the lungs, the blood from the heart comes okay and takes the oxygen okay. and then gives the lung the uh, carbon dioxide exactly. that it has taken from the other part of the body so that there is two circulations going on okay that is oxygen going from outside environment to our lungs, lungs and, and then, then to every other part, part of, the, of body. the body and then from the every other part of the body we have carbon dioxide that going out, out back to the lungs and back to the environment. environment so this is the cycle that happens and what enables this to happen is this hemoglobin that is found on this red blood cell okay so now the sickle blood okay they don't have this hemoglobin okay and if our body cannot get oxygen it means that we cannot function okay so that is the it, it's just what the condition is all about Okay, so what causes this condition? It's, uh, it's genetically, genetic. yeah, genetically, whatever, 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 predisposed. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the English I'm looking for. In simple genetic, terms, a genetic disorder. Yeah, it's a genetic disorder. So okay. it comes from 
both parents okay which is the most annoying thing and the reason why i love to talk about this topic okay um two people yeah that have the trait okay. which is it comes from our blood group okay you have as i have as we cannot marry <laughs> oh my god i would have loved to marry you oh shit. Uh, no 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 homo we are joking no <laughs> no but you guys understand the point yeah a man yeah, yeah. that has AS, as and a woman that has as getting married now they have the possibility of giving birth to a child, a child with that sickle cell, cell that is anemia SS. oh okay that is SS. so it someone that has as is okay. a so s is the whole uh, this, gene the, okay the gene that carries this sickle cell blood or this sickle cell trait is the s the yeah? s okay. so if both parents have the s a s a s they can give a child ss Mm -hmm. And there is also a possibility that they can give birth to another child with AS, not SS. Of course. Okay. Of course. Uh, the, there is a, if we start uh, cross, cross multiplying or cross whatever. Cross matching. Matching, yeah. We would get to a point where we're going to have a lot of the kids. Some of them are AA, some are AS, and maybe one, two, three, or maybe all of them are SS. Okay. Don't marry somebody that is not... I just hope check, check your blood group before okay. getting you married. Get Very it. important. So just, you're genetically predisposed, so it's important to know that you're not a car. If you're a carrier, it's important to know that you're not getting married or getting with someone with that is also a carrier, a carrier too. To, to so, what are the most common symptoms that are being you know manifested by this kind of people? Okay. So if we go back to the cause or the pathophysiol the pathogenesis yes i don't want to use those words if you go back to how it happened which okay. is this oxygen not being able to go through if we go to that we'll now check what will happen when different parts of our body don't get oxygen, oxygen. okay so number one thing is that these sickle cells uh they have a very short lifespan okay so the normal human red blood cell red blood cell is like 120 days yeah but this sickle cell stays not up to 40, 40. days mm -hmm. so that's the maximum they can go for so after 40 days they die off so the first problem goes to the spleen mm -hmm. the spleen is where we have uh, it's an organ in the body by the way where we have the filtration of the the blood the blood so the spleen is like uh border control mm -hmm. the job of the spleen is to take out some put in some it, it's taking the blood cells that are not looking okay, okay. which is the sacred ones it's taking, taking it, it out. out it's taking it out so now the spleen get overworked okay because it's been doing a lot of Bang. job for the the, the the blood cells that are not good or the ones that are dying off 40 days instead of 120 days it's okay. a lot so we have a lot of things happening it breaks down a lot it becomes enlarged okay and it gets overworked then this blood cells that are dying off are producing hemp Okay. And this hem manifests in the body as jaundice, yeah. bilirubin. When we have a lot of bilirubin in the blood, then you have someone looking yellow. Yellowish. In yes, in color. Or the sclera of the eyes uh, looking yellow. yellowish. So that's most of the, one of the important symptoms that people see, especially when the child is born. Okay. A lot of jaundice in the child's body. Mm -hmm. And then these people that have sickle cell, they are predisposed to a lot of diseases. Because their cells are not fighting anything, is it? It's not working. Yeah, just, yeah. It's not working. So they can catch any infection mm -hmm. and they get sick a lot. And these cells that are sick, now they cannot pass through the blood vessels very easily. Okay. We have blood vessels. Yeah. Yeah. Normal ones should go easily and slide through. Let's say small ones like this. They are sliding through. Okay. But this sick cell is going like ah, this. Okay. So there's no sliding to mm -hmm. anywhere. And with this happening, it blocks the, it blocks, it get blocked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this blockage will avoid oxygen from going to other parts of the body. So they have joint pain, stomach pain, pain on different kinds of different parts, parts of, their of the body, body, which is what we call sickle cell crisis. Oh, okay. And is it very lethal? Very. How lethal? Very. Mm, like when someone has crisis, the person can easily... A lot can happen. First thing is excruciating pain. 
then in excruciating pain that it can last for days. Mm-hmm. I have a brother that is sickle cell, oh. so it's has sickle cell disease. So I know it's really painful. It's really painful, and some of them from the pain. You already see the organs are overworking themselves. They, it can generate into a lot of things. You're watching a child just crying, and you cannot do, do anything, anything about to help it. the child. And if you're giving pain medication, you're causing addiction for the child. So it's like, why do we want to do that? It's little. Don't do it. Simple. It's little. It's like, no. no treatment. For the pain, you can control. It's just it's, There's no cure for sickle cell disease. Yeah, but you can control the symptoms. Which is pain. Mm-hmm. And which is giving the person painkillers, and these painkillers causes ulcer. Let's start from that. Number one side effect of and what? Oh my god! Ulcer, addiction, and a lot of other things that comes with it. So it's just it's a whole cycle of nonsense that and no one wants to be in. Not for the child, not for the family, not for anyone around. It's emotionally draining. It's physically draining. It's financially killing. Yeah. You don't want to... The, the expenses is a lot. So mm-hmm. nobody wants to go through all that. So your last words to, I mean, people that are courting, hoping to get married, and all of that. Ask... The, the first, number one question is, find out the person's blood group, genotype. Are you guys... Can you guys make a good match? Mm-hmm. Just find out from the beginning. From the beginning. Okay. To avoid, oh, we can find a way around it. Oh, we can try to solve the problem. There is actually a cure. If I'm being a medical, if I'm being a medical doctor here right now, there is actually a cure, which is bone marrow transplant. Okay. But then the bone marrow tissue has to come from a sibling. Okay. And there is no 100% Assurance. compatibility, mm-hmm. and there is no 100% success in that. It's like 75%. So if just imagine someone gave birth to a child, the child is sickly sick. Mm-hmm. You want to give birth to another one that you're going to use to do a bone marrow transplant and give birth to another, another one. one. So, so it doesn't make sense. Like, it's just waste of money and resources. So. Yeah, so find out on time. Let's just avoid it. It's something that can be avoided rather than treated. Mm-hmm. Just find out on time. There are like, don't fall in love with someone that is uh, from the beginning. Don't fall in love. If you don't fall in love, you will not have issues in the latter end of the. I don't want us to delve into that part of don't fall in love, but rather let's focus on getting checked to know if (laughs) you and your partner are compatible before you try to start something serious. I hope, viewers, you learned something today. I learned a lot as well. (laughs) Thank you. All right. So let's go for a quick break. We'll be right back. Come on, wait a moment. It's a moment with Madeline. Keep it locked down on this diet. You want to know what's going on? Check a moment with Madeline. Zaga, 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 zaga. All right, so you welcome back from the break and it's still a moment with Madeline with Dr. Chizoba. I mean, the very intelligent Dr. Chizoba. Thank you for that beautiful lecture on sickle cell anemia. You're welcome. You did great. Thank you. Thank no. You I hope this I li- did justice. Yeah, more than. It over us, right? <laughs> That's correct, pigeon. It over us. No, it's not. It's not correct. No. Okay, so how do we say it? It, it was. Choke. Oh yeah, it. Ch- oh, thank you. It choke. <laughs> All right. So this little bed. You mean the one that dragged me here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one. He he told me something. He said your birthday is in a few days' time. When is your birthday again? On the 10th of August. Oh my God. Birthday girl in a bit. A Leo. Oh, a Leo queen. <sighs> Lady Leo. I'm also Lady Leo, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, my what birthday is on four things. Four days after yours. Why? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You could have just come out faster. <laughs> you were waiting to do your makeup or something. You yeah, just... I, I needed to do that. <laughs> All right, so I would like to seize this opportunity to wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you. Thank I you wish you me. all your heart desires. Amen. I mean, God bless you. Amen. Live long. Amen. Stay loved. Amen. <laughs> and just be good. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish you a happy birthday as well. 
Maybe we'll turn up later. Yeah, we have to turn up. Yeah. All right, so tonight has been a very educative and interesting one. And I'm going to be giving you more of such interviews. You don't need to stop watching a moment with Madeline. You don't want to know who my next guest is. Maybe I'm going to bring her little bed on the show. Mine that or is yours? No, your little bed. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So don't stop watching a moment with Madeline. Thanks for staying tuned. It's bye for now. What's up? It's your boy Magnus, a.k.a. your girlfriend's best friend. And keep watching a moment with Madeline. Don't touch that guy. Oh, shit. Rewind up. Where's your wine up? Where's your wine up? Magic. 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 Mag